sorry, we enter other states of consciousness. And that's what people can do in states of meditation. Sound and voice vibration, the larynx, the, the vibration of the, of the maxilla. So the humming releases nitric oxide from the nasal sinuses, a, a crucial part of the respiration cycle. Nitric oxide um, actually helps perfuse the lungs and helps bring blood to the barrier of respiration. If you breathe through the mouth, you don't get that. And so vibration and sound helps the brain to, to connect to the respiratory system, which carbon dioxide, by the way, is heavily connected to. You have to, you have to be okay with the rise of carbon dioxide. So the rise of carbon dioxide, the relax, relaxation of all the muscles, and then the respiration system, the bore, um, the bore curve, then allows all the oxygen to be dumped onto hemoglobin. And, we, and when we do this, we, this, this is science now, that brain waves change. When people do this, we can send the, the brain into a state away from the monkey mind, away from the frontal lobe, where we access other things. There's a deeper story to this. Um, serotonin is a group of, so the, 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 um, the molecules that are involved in this, um, uh, in the process of the pineal gland, serotonin, melted they're tryptamines. Uh, there's another molecule called DMT, which is known, everyone's probably familiar with Rick Strassman's work, um, that, to create uh, what we call a psychedelic experience. But so there is endogenous DMT. So what we're missing is there's physiology of the pineal gland showing that the, the respiratory system releases endogenous DMT. Um, we can likely, there's, they haven't, they've isolated DMT in mammalian just a few months ago, um, brain, so we know it's there. And it, it's a, there's uh, new papers coming out showing the gut microbiome responds to DMT, and that's why ayahuasca, for instance, has this digestive um, benefit. But we are now understanding, we're only just at the brink of admitting it, that DMT plays a critical role. And what I think this is, is it's another vibration of molecule. And so we have this amazing um, vibration of day and night serotonin and melatonin. But DMT likely released when you, we, you dream uh, during REM states of sleep, releases a state of consciousness. So dreaming is likely related to how your pineal gland is, is using these, um, uh, these, these very small chemicals. Melatonin, so your body is listening to all of the, the cycles in the universe at the same time. You know, most rudimentally, you can say the sun and the moon. Melatonin decreases during the full moon of why you don't sleep. Your fertility cycles, your endocrine system changes with the vibration. That's why lunar solar calendars were so prevalent, and we've lost that today. Our calendars does not track, and our calendar system is all out by the, I mean, everyone here knows that. Um, but what that does, it changes you, it knocks you off the rhythm of the universe. And that's important because your physiology, you know now, the physiology depends on it. It depends on knowing those, where those astronomical bodies are and how it affects your insides. So I think what we're moving into is that there is, this is a very difficult thing. When I, I first read Walter's work, and you know, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And, um, you know, it, with, with dentistry, uh, like healthcare information, you have to weed through the, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of noise. The really important thing, a dental lens really helped me to see what's important, so you cling to what's important. When I saw Walter's work on and the Binary Research Institute, the binary star hypothesis, or, you know, concept and precession, the cause of precession, it hit me like a, it was like a freight train. I was like, this is really, really, really important. And eventually, it was only in the last few months, it hit, is that the answers are in our brain. There is, if we are connected via a second star system, then the physiology is there. And in the past times that, we are, that we've lived, when we are closer or in different times of energy, the physiology opens up and, the, and it is all there and it's happening. We are awakening to this. This is, this is a process that we can access and understand there are higher abilities of the mind. We know it. It's science. It's right there all in the, we just need to put it in a way that the Western mind can just click it in and say, yep, this is, this is confirmed, this is confirmed, this is confirmed. And then it, it, we can change this via understanding the own evidence lies within our brain. This idea, you know, this picture of um, Akhenaten, you know, connecting to the sun, you know, this is synonymous. What he's talking about is a deep inner connection. The, the Maya talks of the same thing the messages that the, that the frequencies of the sun, and you, you can go deep into the talking about how this affects your consciousness, um, you know, quantum mechanics and so forth, that there are 
very, very subtle and very, very powerful impacts um, happening within the brain.